Troubled past, but patrolling Williamson County. A KVU Defender's investigation reveals Sheriff Robert Chody has repeatedly hired officers with tarnished badges and added them across all ranks. Now, some have quietly moved forward after Chody rebooted their careers, but others have brought new questions about the department's culture, use of force, and the role of the now canceled show, Live PD. We do want to warn you, some of the video in this story is disturbing. Here's senior reporter, Tony Kohetsky. On the streets of Williamson County. So have you been drinking anything today? No. And on the show, Live PD. Do me a favor and step out of the car real quick, okay? Deputy Mark Luera speaks with a knowledgeable, tough tone. I'm not going to tell you again. That made him a reality TV star. Sheriff Robert Chody constantly promoted Luera's Live PD role, calling him a true leader and a Wilco rock star. Are, are you okay, man? Like sweat is just pouring off you right now, brother. Yes, but Deputy Mark Luera is also a disgraced former Austin police officer. Sheriff Chody swore Luera in as his newest deputy in November 2017. That was just three days after Luera quit the Austin Police Department as he faced being fired. Six months earlier, Luera swiped his special clearance badge at Austin's airport nine times to slip his family and two friends past TSA screening. According to records obtained by the KVU defenders, Luera was dishonest to fellow officers who confronted him. Luera paid local and federal fines and lost his security clearance. In a disciplinary report, APD Chief Brian Manley said Luera's actions will, quote, compromise his credibility as a witness if he continues to serve as a police officer. Sheriff Chody promoted Luera to detective within a year and a half, then bypassed more senior officers four months after that to elevate him to lieutenant last year. Luera is just one of several deputies hired by Chody in the past three years with significant disciplinary histories. Law enforcement officers have the power to take away a citizen's freedom and even in very uh, rare instances to take away life. And you simply cannot entrust that uh, to someone about whom there is any doubt. Sheriff Chody appointed some of his hires to top level positions. My name is Steve Deaton. I'm a commander with the Williamson County Sheriff's Office. Commander Steve Deaton retired from the Austin Police Force in 2016. He had been suspended for inappropriate comments about another officer's disciplinary case. The following year, in an embarrassing blunder, Deaton was reprimanded after leaving his badge and gun in a Target shopping cart. Chody hired Deaton as his patrol commander. But Chody's decision to hire officers with troubled histories has also included the rank and file. Um, before you start reaching around, do you have any weapons on you or in the car? Like Luera, Deputy J.J. Johnson also became a live PD star. My dream agency when I got into this job, it just took me about seven years to make it back here. In 2005, Johnson was listed in an Austin police report about an assault case that officers later deemed mutual combat. No charges were filed. And while working as a Bastrop Sheriff's deputy, he was suspended for crashing his patrol car in 2016. Johnson often patrols with Deputy Zach Camden, who also came from Bastrop County. Camden joined the agency four months after Johnson, and he brought an extensive disciplinary file. In his last five months as a Bastrop deputy, he was on supervisor's radar at least three times, including for possibly violating a homeowner's constitutional rights in an illegal search. Before that, while working for the Ingleside Police Department, he was disciplined for showing up late and being dishonest about what time he was told to arrive at work. With any organization, your people are that organization. Texas requires law enforcement agencies to contact a sheriff's deputy or police officer's previous employers before hiring them, but nothing requires them to heed any red flags or warning signs. In most cases, hiring decisions are solely the discretion of an agency. In June, the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement completed an investigation into whether Williamson County met minimal background standards but found no violations. But it still noted that three Williamson County background investigators revealed that the department appeared to ignore troubling records of at least three applicants and hired them anyway.
He was looking for reality stars. Mike Clear, former president of the Williamson County Deputies Association, said he believes Chody often preferred applicants willing to play to live PD cameras. If you're looking for guys that are chasing Hollywood lights with blue lights, you're going to get exactly what we got, and that is a disaster. Chody has now been forced to confront consequences of his hirings. Johnson and Camden have been involved in two controversial use of force cases. As we first revealed in June, the two deputies chased Javier Ambler for 22 minutes after he failed to dim his headlights in March 2019. They used their tasers on Ambler four times as he shouted that he couldn't breathe. Ambler died moments later and the case remains under investigation. The next month, Chody reprimanded Deaton for inappropriate remarks about a female live PD producer. Was there a comment made? Absolutely. But a comment that can be addressed with a, an, oral, um, an oral reprimand. As problems piled up for the Sheriff's Department, Luera led a controversial raid in the arrest of Asher Watsky and what critics said was staged for live PD when Watsky had just been in court hours earlier. One month later, Johnson and Camden, this time with Luera, were all involved in the controversial arrest of Ramsey Mitchell last June. Mitchell, who was wanted on drug charges, was left badly injured after he tried to run. The Texas Rangers are now investigating. Then finally, Deaton sparked outrage last summer after Williamson County residents discovered disturbing posts on his Facebook page. This kind of thing not only damages the image of the local sheriff's department, but of law enforcement everywhere. Deaton resigned a month later. But the other deputies all remain on the force, and Chody has taken no disciplinary action against them. In a statement, the sheriff's office says each applicant's life history is reviewed. This includes all the pluses and minuses. The position of this agency is to review each applicant on an individual basis. In June, Chody fired clear. Now able to speak freely, he says Chody is taking the department in an alarming direction. What does right look like now with the Williamson County Sheriff's Office? What is our moral barometer? And I tell you, after being here for six years, I can tell you that it's gone the wrong way. Sheriff officials point out that some of the deputies they hired also had accolades and commendations. Lieutenant Mark Loera did not return our messages for comment, and former Commander Steve Deaton declined to comment. Attorneys for Deputies Johnson and Camden say they were hired when they were ready for the job. In Williamson County, for the KVU Defenders, Tony Plahetsky, KVU News. The KVU Defenders have been investigating problems in the Williamson County Sheriff's Department for months now. You can see all of the stories in our coverage on our website, kview.com.